passing a prop perm account in one day, well, it could be dangerous and it might not be the best solution to do. But I'm just going to talk this out like in a raw video because I know we're talking about this many times on the streams and I know all these prop firms are letting you guys pass in one day all these evaluation and challenge accounts. But if you really think about it, it actually building up some very, very bad habits and bad expectations with your trading. So let's talk about this. And this goes for like new traders, experienced traders, but uh, you know, to see the bigger picture, we just have to ask ourselves, or you should ask yourself, that what kind of a past you have uh, with trading? Are you just starting out? Um, or do you have some kind of a track record? Does, it doesn't have to be years of track record. I mean, at least one or two months of consistent day trading data or some kind of a result. Um, did you ever had any kind of payout from any prop firm at all? Did you get funded uh, before? Or if you did, how much time did it take? How much money did you spend on evaluation or challenge accounts in the past few months or year? You know, and if you got payouts from prop accounts or prop firms, uh, how much money did you spend uh, until you got to the point where you got your payout? Because if you spent, for example, like, um, I don't know, $5,000 and you only got like $1,000 of payout at the end, it's, it's good, but, you know, you're basically negative. So, are you profitable um, over the whole year or over like six months? These are all questions that you should be asking yourself if you go all in. And by the way, least, last but not least, uh, do you have um, money for it? Do you have a job or any side income business? You know, that's also important. Because if, you, if your answer is no to most of these questions, then I have to tell you that even if you pass the account in one or two days, you're going to have a very stressful and difficult time. And you're going to take trading like it's going to be very emotional for you. It's even emotional for me as well. Uh, I'm fighting with a lot of emotions everyday day trading and I'm talking about my personal experience all the time like right now as well so um, I think if you want to go all in the bare minimum I mean in one day and you want to pass an account in one day and this applies mostly for futures prop firms but uh, of course you can you can do it at many forex prop firms too but uh, if you do this, you definitely have to have enough money that you can spare, which is not that important to your everyday life. So that's one. Uh, there has to be some kind of income for you. So will, you will not depend all that much on trading. Because even if you make it in one day, um, then you'll be at your funded account. And I'm assuming maybe you don't even have a track record for at least two or three months consistent trading with any kind of positive results. So what do you think is going to happen when you get to the funded account after one day? I can tell you what's going to happen, especially if you don't have uh, those kind of past experience. I and mean, I'm talking about the payouts and the track record and getting funded. If you don't have that, then getting funded in one day is going to cause you a lot of stress. It's going to be super stressful for you. Maybe you say, no, no, it's fine, you know, and, and maybe it's really, I mean, maybe you can really take it easy. But on a funded level, the closer you get to the payout threshold, the harder it gets. So 
one way to make the transition much easier for yourself, um, one way is to build up slowly a track record, even on an evaluation or challenge account. If you make it through one month, two months, that's great. Let me just stop here and say that passing an evaluation account in one day or challenge account in one day, it's not a bad thing. But if you're new, you don't have the resources, you don't have the track record, you've never been funded or never taken payout from prop firm, then you're really having a lack of experience to move on. And I know, and I'm going to say names, you guys all know that every prop firm now and then has these uh, things that you only have to go with minimum one trading day and you can go all in. Most likely all of the prop firms let you do that. But if you, if you do it and if you get to the funded stage, um, chances are high that you're going to have an even harder time to get to the payout and uh, again if you already did that so if someone already got a payout already with the record then it's going to be much easier and it's going to be way more easier if you have money to spare uh, for it and you're not relying on that trading income because you know that can really mess up your thinking process and on the stream, we're talking about uh, this stuff all the time. And I did that last month too. And I might going to do it even more because, you know, I'm trying to trade every day here on the streams. And I don't want to waste like three or four months because I'm trading very small. You guys seen it. I don't want to waste uh, too much time uh, again for building up new evaluation accounts uh, because this year I have my goals. But if, if you have some goals, then give some time to yourself, especially if you're not that experienced with payouts or with the funded accounts. There is nothing wrong by, you know, outlining some, some goals along the way, like per se, um, getting funded in two months. Yeah, maybe it's a lot of time. For some, it's a lot of time. For some, it's absolutely okay. Getting funded in two months. Getting to the payout in another two months. So in four months, I can get to a payout. It's realistic. You can do that with any kind of prop firm. Let it be Forex or Futures. But just keep that in mind that, oh yeah, I almost forgot to say one important thing. Um, if you keep repeating by throwing away money without these experience, I mean, these, these uh, results that you might not have, if you're throwing money into these prop firms, then you're building up very bad habits. We were talking about the prop gaming habit you're going to be a prop gamer, not a, not a real trader, because uh, all that matters for you is to get the funded account and, and you pay the activation fee or at Forex Prop Firms, you buy the whole package, you go with phase two, you're on the funded account, but still it's going to put you in so much pressure that you're really going to have a hard time. And building up bad habits is what we don't want to have. Not you, not me. Um, if you do something crazy during day trading, that is building up bad habits. And passing um, these prop accounts in one day is also building bad habits. So again, I'm not saying you shouldn't do it. I mean, or absolutely should do not do it. I'm just saying that ask these questions from yourself. Do you have the money? Do you have any job or side business? Do you have some kind of a constant track record from the past few months with positive results? Have you ever been funded before? Did you get to the payout? Did you take out any payout from any prop firm? And if the answer to most of, the, most of these questions is yes, 
then yeah, you might have a chance. You might have a chance that this is not going to destroy your already good habits. And yeah, you can go all in in one day. But please keep reminding yourself to don't do stupid stuff. All right. Now, this is this was just a raw video uh, because today we were talking about it on stream and um, I thought I'm just going to add my extra take on this, okay? All right. Um, see you guys in the live streams and please share your experience about this. I would like to see some comments. Subscribe to the channel and uh, check out the discounts. In this month, we have some very, very good deals going on. Check out the description. Thank you, guys. See you on the streams.